what we're going to do here is we're going to check all the high and low voltage connections at the condenser as well as the capacitor, contactor, and all the small components such as the defrost board inside of the condenser. Alright, so we're going to make sure our breaker is off, which it is. Alright, so the power's off. Here you got your high voltage wires coming in. This is your contactor. Here's your capacitor. Here's your low voltage wire connections. They all seem to be in good condition. None of them are broken off. That's good. Here we got some connections on the defrost board. Make sure those are all snug. Here's your fan relay. Make sure that's on properly. And then you want to check for damaged wires going in through here to the compressor. Make sure none of those have rubbed out. They all appear to be fine. Make sure all the spade connections are good. Also make sure all your high voltage connections are tight. Which they are. So then we're going to check our capacitor. This is your Herm. This is the one going to the compressor. This is your common. It goes to the top of your contactor. Pop that off. This is your fan. It goes to your fan. Get those out of the way momentarily. This here is a meter, a multimeter. And what we do is we test for microfarads. And on the capacitor it says what it's supposed to be. Right here it's a 45 by 5 UF. So that means you're supposed to have 45 microfarads in between common and perm, which is for the compressor. We go to microfarads on the meter, and then you test in between common and Herm and you should have 45 give or take 6% common and Herm takes a minute and then the meters reading 44.8 so that's within the 6% plus or minus range alright then you go over from common which is here to your fan and we have 4.78 so then you want to put that all back together properly make sure your fan goes to fan and it is marked on the capacitor as well your common which goes to the contactor common and obviously you want to make sure it powers off every time you touch any of the high voltage and herm to herm pretty much it. You want to check the uh, contactor here. A lot of times it gets worn out. So what happens is when it gets to 24 volts it pulls in the contactor here and you want to check to see if it's worn or there's any arc marks there that would cause it to have a poor connection. This one appears to be good. 